We all know fat, white fat, is a store of energy, but when there's too much, it can cause diabetes and obesity. But a different kind of fat can regulate weight. Brown fat, on the other hand, is like a powerhouse, like a generator. It burns fat, burns sugar, and releases the energy as heat. Babies have lots of brown fat, but we lose much of it as we age. People who are lean, with lower sugar levels, tend to have more brown fat. And that suggests perhaps brown fat may help metabolism. The study by the Garvin Institute discovered that long-term exposure to cooler temperatures increases brown fat production. Volunteers were kept in a research facility for four months with temperatures rotating from warm to mild cold. And after the mild cold month, they grew about 40% more brown fat than when they were at the neutral month. They weren't necessarily thinner. But their body became more insulin sensitive. In other words, their body were better able to pack sugar away after a meal, and that suggests a healthier metabolism. Most homes are centrally heated to 24 degrees, but Dr Lee says brown fat can be grown by reducing the temperature to 19 degrees. Like a cool autumn day. Researchers say this doesn't mean we should throw ourselves into a freezer or spend hours in a cold pool, but to slowly acclimatise to a cool, get comfortable environment. I think the important thing to understand is this is no obesity cure and this is no cure for diabetes either. It is a small metabolic change that is possible in uh, ideal circumstances. It's just one factor along with exercise and a good diet which may help to keep good health. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.